Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on Nero Platinum 15. Today I'm going to demonstrate something called themes. So to do that I need to click on the Nero Platinum 15 icon on my desktop. I need to choose uh, Nero video and click. I need to make slideshow and click. I've pre-selected 4K ultra high definition material and it's at 25 frames per second my video so I've already selected that and I'm going to click OK and I need to come across to here click on the drop down and import files so I'm going to click import file and this file is where I have the material I want on my little video so I'm going to select all of those videos and pictures and click open and it's imported all those pictures and videos into this part of the screen we're only seeing the pictures if I click where it says videos there's three videos there I'm going to click pictures to be brought back to this screen you can notice all the ones that have been imported have little crosses on because they were the ones that were selected so I can click, hold and drag and I can drop them into this part of the screen where it says video and pictures. And I can then go through these pictures to make sure that I'm happy. I can preview them in this window. And if there's any that I don't want, I could remove them at this point from the timeline. So if I click to play, obviously that picture is okay if I drag this along just to say the next picture that actually isn't what I want on this little video and so I'm going to right click on the thumbnail I'm going to click where it says remove from track and it removes it from track and I can then see the next image which is an image that I want can click on the images as well and it will move along the timeline and that's an image that I want and this is another image that perhaps isn't right in this particular video so I'm going to right click I'm going to remove from track and I'm going to see the next image and 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 I might have to move this slider along to see the rest and if I click here yes that's images that I want and we've got one of Mooncaster Castle a very nice place very close to this little miniature railway on the west coast of Cumbria uh, but I don't want that image on this particular video so I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove from track and that's the last image now I need to bring in the videos so I'm going to click videos I'm going to click on the screen to deselect these videos and then I can bring them in individually now I know what's on these videos and I know where I want them on this timeline and I want one of the videos to come in after this frame here so that the image that I want to come in there is going to be this one I'm going to click hold and drag and I drop it in there and the next video I want is going to be behind that so I'm going to click drag and drop and I'm going to put that video in there and I'm going to move this along to the beginning and I'm going to click to play that video just to make sure that I'm happy with it so I'm going to click now if you notice I was reframing my camera to, uh, to take the image just as the train comes around this bend and I want to trim that first bit off because I'm not happy with that and so I can go onto the video uh, which is already highlighted I'm going to right click 
I'm going to go to trim. I'm going to click on trim and I'm going to preview in, in this little window here what I want to trim. So I'm going to click to play. And that there is where I want to trim from. So it's around this area here. So I get hold of that marker there and I move it to where I want it to trim to. And I can bring that marker along the timeline just to make sure that I'm in the right place. And I'll play it from there by clicking play. That's probably the right place there. So I'll click again, bring the marker to the right place. Yes, that works. So I'm going to say OK and that video has been trimmed. So I can just preview that again. I'm just going to put the time marker in the right place. I'm going to click to play. Yes, that looks more professional. I'm going to stop and I know the end of this video is OK, but the next video has a similar sort of issue with it. So I'm going to then choose that video. I'm going to click and I'm going to see what we have here. And so the same issue on this, I need to get rid of that first few seconds. So I come onto the thumbnail, right click, I click trim. I again play that video just to check. Yes, that's where I want to trim from. So I'm going to get hold of that marker and move it to that point. And if I put that timeline and marker together and play. Yes, that's what I want. So I'm going to say OK to that. Obviously I could trim from the other end as well, but um, I don't think I need to here. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to just check that video again. So I'll click to play. Yes, that's fine. It's trimmed it where I wanted it to. But the next thing that I want to do is have some crossfades because I want this to move smoothly across from one picture to the next or one video to the next. So I come to effects palette and I click and I use this slider to move down to the effect that I want, which is this crossfade here. I'm going to click, hold and drag and I'm going to drag it into that part of the screen between the picture and the video and I let go and it's put one crossfade in but I want those crossfades on all of these. What I need to do is to right click. I can apply them by clicking there to all of these pictures and videos and now I have crossfades on all of this screen. So if I move that timeline to the beginning and I click to play, there's a crossfade and now it should crossfade and that's fine, that's good. So what I want to do now is to show you the themes uh, and I could use the themes here, but I actually like to come into advanced editing because it gives me more options and I've got the basic of what I wanted uh, already on this timeline. But if I now go to advanced options, I'm able to do some more intricate work. And I still have the themes um, here. So I can click on themes. And what happens is it brings up this window. And I've decided that I'm going to use this theme here. And the themes all have music. It's different music for different themes, but I'm going to choose that. I can choose uh, whether I have it pan and zoom, which I want it to do. I'm going to apply theme music. I could take the theme music off, but I'm going to use the theme music and I'm going to click OK and it's loaded everything on here. 
And so if I click to play now, I'll go full screen just to see what happens. I click and I get this effect. And I've clicked to pause and I'm going to go back to the previous screen. Now what I've realized is that I could have written something relevant here. I could have done that when I went to themes in the first place on the, the screen for themes. But since I forgot, I'm going to click to select that which is the um, text. I click on that part of the screen where it says edit top left hand side and I'm going to choose that type of text. I'm going to make the text perhaps just a bit bigger, maybe 48. I'm going to click close and now I can click on the, I can click on the screen and I can write whatever I want to. So I'm going to write Ravenglass and Estelle Railway and I'm going to click done. And I know that at the other end there is another text box that I can change. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click edit and as you see it has the end created with Nero video. I'm going to click on the text that I like. I'm going to click close and I'm going to write something that's relevant in here. And so rather than the end, I'm going to write The 19th of July 2015 a special day because it is a special day for some people and I'm going to click done and export this video. I don't want to save this project, I'm going to click no. I'm going to save it as an AVC file, ultra high definition 4K. I'm going to browse to see where the file is going to go. It's going to go onto uh, my D drive. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Nero Demo. And I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to click on Export. Now it's going to take a few minutes for this file to be rendered. It's starting now and so I'll pause this video and now the file has successfully exported I'm going to come across here to my file explorer and click I'm going to go to data D where the file is stored I'm going to look for Nero demo which is here this thumbnail I'm going to click and it will then play the video.
we have it. Obviously a special day for Susie and Richard and the little boy who's going to grow up into being a railway engineer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you join me next time. Thank you for watching.